Now, if you can keep Edgar from hitting you, you can take him out on foot because he's really slow. I mean, comparatively. But don't let him hit you, man, because he hits like a friggin' Mack truck. And so, yeah, it's, it's a little risky. I'm just showing you that it can be done. But you have to really be careful not to let him tag you, especially if he stuns you. Remember that the sledgehammer has, you know, really good reach. Uh, so you can hit him from fairly far away. And he did. Welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days to Die. This is the Insane Nightmare Speed Tutorial, and I am an old guy gaming. And in this episode, we are going to go out and about and work on stuff we need to work on. And our number one priority is to get ourselves a cooking pot, because I don't have a cooking pot. So uh, if you watched the last episode, you'll know that uh, I had a rough go of it. And um, after I left you in the last, uh, the last episode, I went out and decided to play patty cake with a feral spider zombie uh, right out in front of the house there. That's why you see my backpack pulsing there. Uh, to end my life, because our life, our, our quality of life had gotten so bad that it was time to do it. <laughs> uh, so anyway, we are back to full health now, full food, full water. Uh, again, I had mentioned uh, in that video, I rarely, rarely do something like that, but it just got to the point where there, you know, it made no sense to continue on. So uh, that's what we did. Uh, we got a Hawaiian zombie here, uh, and it's kind of giving us a hassle. So he's been beaten up on the house, uh, but what we're going to do is just pull that and then run away. So what we need to do is uh, we need to find a cooking pot before we do anything else because I, I don't have one and we need it for food and making glue, that sort of thing. Once we can find a cooking pot and make some glue, um, then I can make some duct tape. And then once we make some duct tape, uh, duct tape um, then I can uh, make our forge and then we'll go from there. Okay, so uh, we had started looting this house over here uh, last night. And I don't think I ever actually got into the kitchen of the place, which is our you know going to give us the most chance of finding a cooking pot so let's kind of go back this way and we had gone in through here uh we, but we pretty much looted everything in there so we didn't really need to go that way anymore uh, but let's take a look see in here so this door is locked can we put yeah we can put a block down there okay so let's just break this door down just look around and make sure there's no other nasties around Oh, I have to tell you, man, it's so good to, to have my stamina back finally. That was just brutal. Okay, let's quietly poke our head in here. Okay, so we've got to be careful about Zikaruskis up above us. Uh, because they're going to be up here. But I'm what I'm really looking for is the kitchen area. Is that going to be over here? Yeah. We've got sleepies right above us. This door is unlocked. Here's the kitchen. Okay. Let's be very careful going in here. Okay, I think... We're zombo-free in here, so let's close that door. Let's block that off and see if we can find ourselves a cooking pot. Well, we got another pipe. Unfortunately, the stove, which gives us the best chance of finding one, is broken. So, all right. I think we're kind of SOL here. Not really anything else in here to loot. Okay. Um, let's hit this. Oh, look at that. That's what we needed the glue for. Damn, that's loud. <laughs> okay, we're good. We are good to go. Let's head on back to the ranch and get our forge made. And then once we can get the forge made, we can make some iron arrows and uh, make a cooking pot. Give us another egg. Oh, awesome. Two eggs is even better. Two eggs are better than one. Do you guys know that? True, true story. Okay, we got a crawler and a fatso. We're not too worried about them. Let's uh, grab that stuff, because I guess I'm not wearing my clothes. That's terrible. This is a PG-13 uh, video series here, and I'm going around with no clothes on. Can't take me anywhere. All right, so let's just kind of get Fatso away from our house so he quits banging on it. 
Ooh, more duct tape. Even better. Okay, so what we're going to do is pull him kind of around here and lo lose aggro on him. Because he's been kind of banging, banging around down below uh, overnight and causing a little bit of damage in our house. We don't like damage in our house. No siree bop. For those of you who have been watching the, um, there's a chicken, uh, watching the War As UK series, um, I have heard back from uh, several of you in the comments, and pretty much you have all unanimously said to end the War As uh, series and start a Ravenhurst series. So you'll be happy to know that I have uh, downloaded and installed Ravenhurst, and we'll probably uh, start working on the first episode of that over the next day or two. Uh, so I wanted to kind of announce that for you. And yeah, we'll have some fun with Ravenhurst. Um, the problem uh, or the challenge that Ravenhurst is going to present for me, though, is I'm going to play it on Insane Nightmare like I always do. And uh, it's going to be interesting because of the fact that, um, you know, uh, Ravenhurst spawns in a lot of zombies, way more than Vanilla does. Uh, so it's going to be interesting to see, <laughs> you know, how, how I'm going to be able to deal with that. Um, okay. Well, anyway, let's, let's focus on this series. So I am out of clay. We need clay for the forge. So I'm going to go dig up some dirt. Uh, we have enough stone, so we're good on that, uh, front. Uh, and we don't, we're going to need more iron too. So yeah, I'm going to go out and dig some dirt up, uh, get the forge going and then see if I can find some iron nodes just to get enough to get us going. All right. So I will uh, meet you guys back here when we're ready to proceed. Nice, we got a honey, so if we get infected again, now we can deal with it. Okay, uh, take 5% less damage when wearing a fireman's hat. Ooh, this works! Hot damn! Okay, so we've got a working cement mixer here. Uh, we might put that to use until we get to the point where we can build our own. That was a nice find. All right, you know what else I'm going to do? Um, we need clay, but we're going to kill two uh, two birds with one stone here because uh, getting to the end loot in this house is really easy, and it will require us to dig up some clay. So, yeah, let's go ahead and just do that. Plus, I'm going to grab all this cement and cobblestone on top of that. Okay, we got a Marlene over there. I'm not worried about her. I can outrun her. If it was a Darlene or an Arlene, I'd be concerned, but not a Marlene. She's outrunnable. Okay, so this gets us to the fat loots. Let's see what we got. Ah, finally get a blunderbuss. Okay, that's going to come in handy. Shift everything on down. Um, let's see, we've got 132 clay. Yeah, that's good enough to start with. Uh, plus, we have blunderbuss ammo back at the base, too. So, yeah, good find. Good find. I'll take it. Hopefully, we can find a few more of these, too, and then we can, you know, get two, three, four shots off by putting two or three or four on our toolbar. What's in here? Uh, yeah, I don't care about that stuff. Let's check the ammo. Okay. Chamois box. We could use some food for sure. Nice. Okay, we'll take all that. Let's put this on our toolbar for emergency stamina. And, uh, yeah, that was a good find. Okay, so we got enough clay. Okay, that might be Marlene outside. Let's stay sneaky sneak. Just in case it's somebody more dangerous than her. Yeah, I think it's just her. So let's take her out. So you can see, you know, she's not, she's not like deadly fast. So she's, she's manageable. Where you at? Okay. All right. You dead. 
Okay, let's go back to the base and get our forge going. That's the next thing. Okay, so we're going to need pipes, duct tape. Uh, we got stones here. We got clay here. I think that's all we need for the forge, right? Oh, leather. Oh, crap. I forgot about that. We need tin leather, ladies and gentlemen. We only have two. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess we're not quite ready to go yet, but we are going to grab this blunderbuss ammo. So that gives us 51 shots. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Let's keep some cobblestone with us. Uh, we're going to put that back in there. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is drink a water now and uh, put the rest in there because now we have this yucca juice for emergency stamina. Um, let's also just eat this now too because that way we can keep our food topped off. And I think we're good. We're going to keep the honey with us in case we get infected. Actually, no, you know what? I'm not because we're not going to be far enough away from the house to where if we did get infected, we can get back here within five minutes to take that. So let's not put that in our inventory taking up space. Okay, so yeah, name of the game now is leather. We need some leather. We got a, a crawler down there banging on stuff, but uh, don't really care so much about that. Was there, were there leather couches in here? I cannot remember. Let's go back in and check. No, those are cloth couches. All right, yeah, let's not let's not worry about this place then. Okay, so I gotta think. Where are we gonna find leather couches? Ah, uh, let's see. We gotta have them around here somewhere. Not gonna be any in the car, uh, the cabinet shop. There might be some in these houses here. The other thing we can do, of course, is kill uh, some rabbits if we come across one. I think I just saw one, too. It hadn't registered in my mind that we needed to do that. <laughs> okay, let's check this guy out. Uh, we'll take that and just scrap these other things. Okay, so let's take a peek in here and see if this place has leather couches. No, just got it just has cloth. Okay. That isn't gonna do us any good. Um alright, well, let's just go house to house until we can find some leather couches. Cloth couches. Not gonna work. I'm trying to think, is there any leather in the school? Of course that's kind of a dangerous place for us to be going at this point in time. Um, yeah, I can't, I can't think off the top of my head if there would be any in there. Oh, I'll bet you there's leather in this place. Also kind of dangerous for us to be going in. It's a tier four, uh, no, it's a tier three place, but we need leather. Absolutely need leather. Got a Steve Zombo over here. Let's get him out of the way so that he's not messing with us when we're trying to get into this house. Okay, he got one thump off on us, so I think what I'm going to do is take one of these. We want to make sure we keep our health in tip-top shape. That's going to make us a little bit thirsty, but we'll drink the... Uh, we'll drink the yuck if we have to. Okay, so this place I'm sure is going to have some leather couches in it. Let's go take a peek in here. No, that's cloth. What the hell, man? Oh, no, 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 no. We are not messing with biker. Mm -mm. What we'll do, is he coming after us? Here, let's, uh, we'll kill him, but we're going to kill him this way because he is tough and he's fast, like nightmare fast. All right, come on, buddy.
Okay, he dropped a bag for us. And yeah, you could see how tough that dude is. He is not easy to kill. He would wreck us if he caught us out in the open. All right, let's upgrade this. I think I'm just going to keep this little platform here for now. What did he drop for us? Uh, oh, okay, some chili. Uh, and we'll just scrap this. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're just going to keep that there so we can get back up on there later if we if we need to run back to it, which we probably will. Okay, so this place has freaking cloth couches too. This is supposed to be like a fancy schmancy mansion house. Whoa, shit. Now who's coming? Run away! I don't know who that was, which zombo that was. Oh, it's Edgar. All right. We could kill him. We'll get 750 XP for, for killing him. Come back up here, Edgar. <laughs> We're keeping him stun locked so he's not. Okay, he's going to break that pretty soon. While we still have a little bit of stamina left, let's get away from him. I think I'm going to take this now because we're also thirsty from taking that pain pill. Now, if you can keep Edgar from hitting you, you can take him out on foot because he's really slow. I mean, comparatively. But don't let him hit you, man, because he hits like a friggin' Mack truck. And so... Yeah, it's it's a little risky. I'm just showing you that it can be done. But you have to really be careful not to let him tag you. Especially if he stuns you. Remember that the sledgehammer has, you know, really good reach. Uh, so you can hit him from fairly far away. And he did. Okay, got him. I, I, I still want to look in here because there's actually a lot of bookshelves in here. But there might be some leather couches like on the next floor. If we can just get in here and see what's going on. Let's get this ready. Uh, we also might be able to just loot a a cooking pot, which is fine too, because that's really the first thing we need. Beverages. Oh, nice. Red tea. Okay, let's put that down here. It's a nice little find for us. Okay, acid. We'll need that later on. Uh, that's it, though. Okay. Yeah, we're not having a whole whole lot of luck here, are we, guys? Let's carefully peek in here. There's usually a Zombo, like, there's kind of like a, I don't know, like a hot tub kind of thing in the corner over there, and sometimes there's zombies in there. Yeah, we're probably going to have some Zeeks in these closets, too, I'll bet. Nobody in there. Let's try this one. Okay, we got Baldy in there. He's pretty fast. He's not someone I'd want to have to take on on foot. Get our arrow back. There we go. This might wake him up. If it does, we're running like hell. Nope. Okay. Well, let's see. I guess I need to decide if it's worth it to keep going in this house or if we should just go elsewhere. Uh, oh, here. Let's get this guy out of the way. Oh, shit. We got Nurse Nancy. Nancy, get out of there. Okay, where'd Baldy go? We can kill Nancy, but I want to kill her on the platform because she's she's deadly fast. There's someone up above. I don't know if that's Baldy or not. Okay, Nancy's dead. 
I don't see any more Zikaroos around. What I want to do is I want to look... Um, I want to look upstairs in this place to see if, if there's leather... You know, if they have leather uh, furniture. Okay, who's up here? That is Baldy. Okay, let's see if we can get him to come over on this side. He's attacking the door. Nobody else coming behind us? Alright. Give me my arrow back. Thanks, dude. There you go. Have a sledgehammer sandwich. Okay, so we got rid of him. Let's very carefully sneak in here. It's a struggle, man. It's a struggle in the early game, I'll tell you what. Makes it all worthwhile later on, though. It certainly does. Okay, we got to be careful. Yeah, there's leather in there. Okay, good. This goes down into the garage, and there's usually some sleepers down here, but I doubt we're going to find leather down there, so let's keep that door closed. Good. So, we have, yeah, we have at least four more pieces of leather there. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to block this off because there's usually a zombo in that room and we have these spikes uh, on both sides here um, let's uh, let's use stone arrows for for this part okay we got business zombie he's pretty fast um, but we do have the spikes Excellent. Okay, so we took him out. We grab our arrow. Nice. Okay, let's... Do I want to go through here or not? Let's see if we can... Um, we're going to repair this. Okay, we got another bow there. Come over here, bow. There you go. Okay, he's dead, but we did kind of break through here. Okay, let's get that back. Let's close this. Just want to get this shit out of the way so we can... All right. Yeah, there might be a zombo in here. Just looking to see... Any chance of getting leather in here? No, doesn't look like it. Okay, let's close that door. How about a how to, about a cooking pot? No, but you know what? We'll take that. I don't care about the lead. Nice. All right, let's move this down to here for emergencies. Oh, we're doing all right. Let's grab some cloth, because why not, right? Okay, there's a, a skater punk zombo in there, but there's also a box. And a bookcase, too. Oh, and some leather. Even better. Oh, shit. Okay, where is he going to come from? Get Okay, he's trying to come through here. Okay, good. Okay, get some stamina back. Got him. All right, nice. Let's see what's in the bookcase here. 
Uh, we will learn that. And uh, shotguns have 20% less degradation. We'll learn that. Didn't we loot a book earlier too? I must have... I don't know did, if I read it or not. Okay, so we should be clear to go in here and check in this box, which gives us nothing. All right. That was worth it. All right, we got a pill though. Uh, oh, nice. Lucky looters. I'll take them. That was worth the price of admission. Yes, indeed it was. Okay, let's get some leather from this chair. One piece, but hey, you know, it's one more piece than we had before, right? Okay, so I think... I'm trying to remember if there's any more Zeke's in the kitchen area here. Let's um, pump, uh, poke a hole through the wall here and take a look-see. Yeah, there's a skater punk right there. We can't crouch to hit him, so we're just going to have to pop him standing up. We don't get the sneak damage, but it is okay. All right, I think that clears this area here. Let's do a repair on this. And go in here, but we'll just be ready to make a hasty retreat if uh, things don't go well for us. Let's get this ready, too. Okay, so we should be clear all through there. Let's just go look and see. Is there anybody out on the deck here that might give us grief? It will be okay from anything coming that way. And this is uh, that bedroom. Okay, let's take a look in here. Uh, we're already wearing one of these, I think, right? Yeah. Uh, so I don't actually care about that stuff. Uh, possibility of a safe? No, but we've got a backpack with some water. Okay, this is unlocked. No Zombos in here. Okay, antibiotics? Ooh! <laughs> Look at that! Why couldn't we have found you yesterday? Oh man, that was lucky. Okay, we do not have to worry about getting infected now. We have, because we have honey anyways, but now we have antibiotics. Uh, this will give us leather if we pick it up. Do I have my wrench with me? Uh, if I use the wrench on this, we should get leather and mechanical parts. Whereas if we just split straight up scrap it, we just get leather. While we're at it, let's go ahead and get this guy too, because we'll get springs and pipes and stuff. That was lucky, man. That doesn't happen very often. <laughs> that does not happen very often. Okay, so we're good to go through here. Check these pictures. Uh, there's something there. It's a purse. Okay. I'll take the nine mils for later. Don't care about the note. All right. We should be good to go. Let's see how much leather we can get. Oh, that's right. I forgot. That was just a one piece thing. All right. So we have a total of six. We have two back at the base. So we need two more to make our forge. I'm going to get rid of that. Uh, we don't need one thing of clay in our inventory and uh, do, 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 do. let's put the rocks back down there or the stones so we're over encumbered by three slots uh you know what let's just scrap this it's going to be a long time before we need to actually use cans for crafting purposes okay i want to save the feathers because we're going to be able to make iron arrows when we, once we get the forge up and running all right let's check the bookshelves Got paper there. We'll save that for shotgun shells later. Oh, you know what? This goes into another room, doesn't it? All right, let's just block that. I don't think there's a zombie in there, but... Okay, what's this do? Double pocket mod. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. And the flashlight mod for the weapon. Okay, we'll take that. Let's check the kitchen in here. We got a, a food pile. Nice. Come on, give us a cooking pot. Oh, man! 
All right, how about some coffee? We're doing okay, even though we didn't find the quick bot. I mean, once we get the forge up and run, we'll be able to make one anyway, so then it won't be a big deal, but it'd be nice if we could loot one. Good, we got some more food. There we go, there we go. <laughs> this is a good day, man. This is a good day. I think uh, the game's taking pity on us after the miserable experience we had yet in yesterday's episode. Um, so yeah, we're doing good, man. We're doing good. Okay. Let's go over here. Um, I don't think there's any Zikaroos in here. Well, let's have this at the ready just in case. Because there's more bookcases in here. And there's another chair which we can get more leather from. Yeah, okay. Let's check these. Urban combat. 10% more damage when indoors and take 5% less. Thank you very much. I love that one. Lucky looter, find more lead and loot, okay? We'll take that. Robots and stumpatons degrade 20% slower and switch schematic. Okay, we're finding some decent stuff here, guys. Finding some decent stuff. Enforcer, uh, 44s give us 5% better deal and the shovel grave digger mod. Yeah, this, this house is great for books. Spear Hunter, do 10% more damage with spears and electric timer relay. Okay, let's wrench this so we get mechanical parts and leather from it. Anything behind here? Nope. Okay. So, now, I guess the question is... See, things start to get really dangerous from this point forward. There's like two zombos in here that we'd have to deal with. Um... We still need. Oh, oh, we have eight leather. Okay, we're good. We're good. Okay, we're good. Let's let's not press our luck. Let's not press our luck. We've done, we've done really well. So I think we're we're good to go. Let's go back home and get our forge made and get some food made and some stuff. And uh, we're doing good. Also, guys, I think it's time for us to wrap up this episode anyway. So I think we will do that. So what I'm going to do is go back to the base. I'm going to make a forge. Um, we have our cooking pot, so I need to make one of those. And then I'm going to work on finding iron and getting a, a, a big old stack of iron arrows made up, which are going to help, you know, help us do more damage. And then uh, from there, we'll figure out what our next move is. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.